Hello students, in the last video, we covered the concept, format and few questions on the topic profit and loss appropriation account. Now while recording the transactions of partnership firms, it is very important to distinguish between appropriation of profits and charge against profits. In profit and loss appropriation account, we only record appropriations. We do not record charge against profits in this account. So let's discuss the concepts of appropriation of profits and charge against profits and understand the differences between these two topics. So let's start with the first difference between appropriation and charge against profits. First basis of difference is meaning. So appropriation means distribution. We discussed this in the last class also that appropriation of profits means distribution of net profits. And charge against profits are those expenses which are to be deducted from revenue to arrive at net profits. So charge against profits include all the expenses which reduces our net profit. Next point is examples. So salary, interest on capital, commission paid to the partners, all these things are appropriation of profits. And expenses charged against profits are rent paid to a partner, interest on partner's loan, manager commission. These are the examples of charge against profits. Next is recording. So in the last class you have seen where do we record salary, interest on capital, partner's commission or other appropriations. We record all these things in profit and loss appropriation account. And where are the rent paid to the partner, interest on partner's loan, manager commission, charge against profits are recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account. This point of difference is very important. Whenever you see the appropriations in the questions, that is salary, interest on capital or partner's commission, where will you record? on the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account and whenever you see charge against profits like rent paid to a partner interest on partners loan manager commission where would you record you will record in profit and loss account this is very important point next point is necessity so appropriation of profits are provided only in case of profits so if there are no profits that is if the firm is in loss then you do not have to give any appropriation you do not have to appropriate profits so appropriation of profits is provided only in case of profits and charge against profits are those expenses which have to be provided whether the firm is earning profits or if it is uh, suffering losses so rent paid to a partner, interest on partner's loan, manager commissions have to be provided whether there is profit or there is loss. So I hope the difference between appropriation of profits and charge against profits are, is clear to you. We will now proceed to some questions on the basis of these concepts. So what are appropriation of profits? Appropriation of profits are distribution of profits and where do we record appropriation of profit on the debit side of PL appropriation account what is charge against profit these are expenses which are deducted from net profits and where do we record charge against profits on the debit side of profit and loss account so let's proceed to some questions So here is a question on the left side and I have added the solution on the right side. So let's see the question. How many partners are there? Two partners. A and B. 
they are sharing profits and losses in the ratio 3 is to 2. So why is this ratio given? We, uh, we distribute divisible profits in this ratio. So their profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 2. 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 are their respective profit and loss share. Their capitals are given. Their net profits is given. Manager commission. So manager commission as we hear the word manager commission it is charge against profit or it is appropriation of profits manager commission is charge against profit so where we where will it be recorded on the debit side of profit and loss account then salary to partner b salary to partner is appropriation of profit so where will we record it on the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account similarly interest on capital again it is appropriation of profit so we will record on the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account so let's see so in this question we have charge against profit as well as appropriation of profit so ideally we should prepare both profit and loss account and profit and loss appropriation account so let's see how do we prepare profit and loss account so we have net profit this is our starting point 50,000 and how many charge against profits are given only one that is manager commission so ideally where should we record it in profit and loss account and how will it look like like this our profits were 50,000 manager commission was 5,000 how much net profit is left 45,000 but there is a shortcut of doing so if in the if we look at the question it is only it has only asked to prepare profit and loss appropriation account So we do not have to prepare profit and loss account. So as a shortcut what we can do is we will simply deduct manager commission from the profits. So it will come out to be 45,000. So I hope you have got the two ways of doing so. Either we can prepare profit and loss account first and find out this 45,000. or as a shortcut we can simply deduct from net profit on the credit side of profit and loss appropriation account so ultimately it will come out to be 45000 which is to be recorded on credit side of profit and loss appropriation account now what do we have to record? We have to record all the appropriations of profits that are given in the question. First is salary to a partner. So salary to partner B is 15, 1500 per quarter. Always remember whenever we prepare profit and loss appropriation account, we have to record annual salary. That is salary for full one year. So if rupees 1500 is for one quarter, what will be the annual sa salary 1500 multiplied by 4 that will come out to be 6000 interest on capital is provided to both partner 8 person what what are their respective capitals 1 lakh multiplied by 800 will be 8000 50000 multiplied by 8 person will be 4000 so interest on capital will be 12000 only two appropriations are given whatever profits are left they are transferred to divisible profit and these divisible profits are distributed among the partners in their given ratio so that is 3 is to 2 if we divide this divisible profit in 3 is to 2 their respected share will come out to be 16,200 and 10,800
I hope the question was clear to you. So here are two questions for you to practice. 